Hello. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the configuration I have been working with to enable a ProPresenter to control my DMX lighting system. The software I'm going to be using today is Mac OS 10.12, ProPresenter 6.2 with the communications module added on. And I'm just using the demo version of the software uh, with the uh, demo modules turned on for this purpose. Uh, and it, you can play around it uh, and it will work just fine. Of course you need to purchase the license if you actually want to use it for a real presentation. And finally I'm using uh, the uh, lighting control software, the open source software called QLC Plus. I'm using version 4.10. So let's get started with just reviewing the configuration for QLC Plus and then we'll go through and uh, set up a pro presenter with the cues necessary and then we'll link them and demonstrate them. So let's go to QLC. So here we are in QLC in full screen mode and I first want to start with just looking at the input output page and to point out that we have an input configured which is the Apple uh, MIDI driver. Okay, uh, Not much more needed than uh, making sure that it's installed using the uh, MIDI setup for OS X and uh, then you are able to check this. If you're using Windows or some other operating system, uh, there should be a similar sort of process to install the uh, default MIDI driver for your OS. Then I wanted to show you that I have three scenes set up, just simple demo scenes. Each one uh, controls a dimmer, uh, and I've also got a uh, fade in, fade out time of three seconds set for each one. So what I will in the end have is a nice crossfade between each scene. Of course you can do anything you want but for this demonstration that's what I'm going to do. Then if we go to the virtual console I have a blank uh, blank console at the moment so I'm going to create a solo frame and the solo frame seems to work really well for this. It uh, the basic idea is that uh, you can put a bunch of gadgets widgets within the solo frame and only one of them will be uh, enabled at a time. So next I'm going to add three buttons. So uh, I'm going to do a one by three array of buttons and it's just really quick to um, pre-select which scenes you want with them because it will just link them all together when I hit OK and boom there is my three buttons for scene one, scene two, scene three. I'm just going to move them over here because we'll want them in that corner later uh, and let's demonstrate that it actually works the way uh, it should all by itself. So I've gone into run mode by hitting the play button in the corner and now when I hit scene one it will turn uh, with a green border which says that it's now activated the scene one uh, settings. When I hit scene two the uh, green frame moves from scene one to scene two and I've just done a crossfade between scene one and scene two based on the, the uh, fade out parameters I set for each of those scenes. Likewise scene three back to scene one I can do this all day long and it just works every time. That's great. Okay, so let's uh, exit run mode and go back to design mode. And now it's uh, time to uh, go to ProPresenter. Let me just pop that up. Okay, so here within ProPresenter, just go full screen here so we get rid of some of the noise. Here within ProPresenter, I've created a playlist and a document uh, with three blank slides on. There's nothing special about these slides so far. I just did the plus, 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 and then I assigned a name to each one of them just to help us uh, understand what's going on. Okay, but so far these could be any slides within any document. And what we're going to do now is add uh, MIDI cues to each one of these. So we are, we do a right click or two button press on the touchpad since this is OS X. Add cue, communications cue, MIDI note on. MIDI note on, and I'm going to use channel one, note zero for this. And a very important thing, it must put an intensity. It doesn't matter what, just not zero. Done. Okay, and you can see that we now have a little communications logo in the corner to say that there's a communications cue associated with this. Okay, likewise, I'm going to step through and add cues, communication cue, MIDI note on to each of these others. 
The only thing I'm going to change is for scene two, I'm going to use um, note one and intensity two. Likewise, scene three, add cue, communications cue, MIDI note on, channel one, and now we're going to use the third one on the list, note two. Um, and an intensity. Okay, so now we've got our three slides set up. Each one we can see has that communications module uh, identifier on them. Okay, now time for the magic. Let's switch now back to, um, actually I'm going to go now and bring up both at once. QL, get them both on the screen at once so you can See the easy way of getting these tied together. Okay, so when I click and fire this scene right now, nothing will happen because it, it's going to fire off the MIDI note, but QLC is not listening for it. So we have to make that connection. So we're going to go back to QLC and we're going to go into Widget Properties. And I'm going to um, do something that's really easy. I'm going to do Auto Detect. Now I'm going to go over to ProPresenter and fire that and QLC detected that it saw something on uh, channel 1, note uh, input 129. Great. Okay, so we say OK for that and now we're going to go into Scene 2, Widget Properties, Auto Detect, fire the Scene 2 cue and 130, perfect. Scene 3, Widget Properties, Auto detect, fire scene three from ProPresenter, 131. Great, this is going well. And I think we're done. Now, I just need to go back to run mode. And so I'm gonna pop back just so I can hit this button here and then minimize that again. Okay, so we're now in run mode. Again, like before, each of those solo buttons works fine by themselves. But now, when I hit it in ProPresenter, let me just move this over so you can see it happen. As I click each scene within ProPresenter, QLC responds by selecting the same, uh, the corresponding scene. You can set up the looks that you want for your entire show on each scene. You can put then the right cues on the right spot within your ProPresenter playlist, uh, whether you do it as um, dedicated objects like I have within the demo I have here, or embedded within, uh, uh, say, if it's song lyrics or other kinds of graphic presentations or video cues that you have in there, you can add those communication cues to uh, anything within ProPresenter. It seems to work great, uh, and I hope you found this useful. Thank you.